Hi, I'm James Wilkinson and I've been a travel editor for over 20 years. On this show, we're going to take you to some of the world's most amazing destinations, from the big cities to the great regional areas. We'll go inside some of the world's best hotels, bars, restaurants, galleries, theatres and much more. Right now, we're in Chicago and this is Wayfair. Welcome to the Chicago Magic Lounge. It's a one of a kind here in the city and it's one of the best new experiences in America. Let's check it out. Now that is the first close-up theater in, in uh, the Midwest, actually. Oh, wow. See a live woman cut in half. It actually halves, halves. And it's multiple. <laughs> Well, Joey, we're here at the Chicago Magic Lounge, the first magic theater in Chicago in about 100 years, isn't yeah. it? The, uh, the Magic Lounge began out of uh, an idea to bring back a lost tradition uh, in magic. Uh, basically, restaurant magic, bar magic, it's a magic that came from Chicago. Um, so we, uh, we, we put a lot of thought into how the stage would look, how the bar magic would do it, and, the, and how the, the, the magic at the table would flow. Uh, with our back room back here with the close-up magic, it's basically just reinventing uh, a, a lost art form. And tell us about the venue itself. Obviously, it's a challenge to even get in here in the first place. <laughs> we, we wanted it to be sort of a speakeasy in, in the sense that the, the customer experience was delayed by a little misdirection. We wanted you to have this complete kind of loss of, of time and space. We wanted to fool you from the moment you walked in. Yeah. Uh, so we built a, um, a fake laundromat in the front of it. And once you get in through there, you're in this 1930s kind of throwback magic bar. We, we did 1930s, it's the era of the magic bar in Chicago. Yeah. Um, there's a little magic library in there with actual books, artifacts, about 100 years ago. Uh, then there's a second speakeasy entrance, which uh, you, you got a chance to see a little yeah. bit of. Um, and that's in the library. Once you're in there, you're in this 120-seat cabaret. Now, what kind of magic can we see performed here at the, at the Magic Theater? So, Chicago-style magic is, is defined as very personal, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, right at your table. Um, if it's on stage, it's still that kind of personal magic. Uh, there's no illusions, no sawing in half, no levitating people. That's for the Vegas stage. We want to make magic approachable and live and also keeping with Chicago yeah. funny. So no one's getting cut in half tonight, though? No, no, no. no. If they have done it, it's not my magician who did it. That's rogue, rogue saw somewhere. Yeah. How many magicians have you got then that come and do this tableside uh, magic tricks? Well, on a, on a big night, what we call a signature show, we have about five or six roaming magicians uh, at the tabletop. Uh, Chicago's got a, a pretty large scene of magicians. We've uh, now seen about 35 professionals wow. come to work with us. Uh, but we go beyond that. We bring in international acts. We bring in uh, uh, touring acts from all over the world. So in our first year, which we're about to hit our first anniversary, uh, we've seen um, over 100 magicians come in. And you can come here for some food and drinks as well? Oh yeah, absolutely. Every show begins with a little close-up magic. Time for cocktails and time for, uh, for, for bar food. Wonderful. Well, Joey, thank you so much for having us. and yeah, look forward to you. seeing the show. We're here at the Omni Chicago Hotel. It's one of the only all suite hotels in the city, and it's also got a great bar and restaurant right here on Michigan Avenue. Well, David, thanks so much for your time. We're here at the only all suite hotel on Michigan Avenue in Chicago, and tell us about this property. Yeah, thank you. You know, we're located right in the center of everything, all the shopping, dining, right outside the hotel. From a corporate travel standpoint, obviously very convenient as well for business travelers. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think the, our guests love the all suite hotel, having the extra space and being so close to uh, the business district here in Chicago too. And a very local food philosophy in the hotel as well. Yeah, you know, Chef Josh makes everything here in house, make our own breakfast sausages um, as well as incorporating a lot of the local flavor in Chicago into the hotel. 
You're an all-sweet hotel, so tell us about the room products you've got here. Yeah, you know, we uh, recently went through a $11 million update here at the hotel, and you know, having that large suite gives you two rooms, essentially. A one-bedroom king bedded suite um, overlooking the lake, you know, certainly makes our guests feel like they're in Chicago from the moment they enter the room, as well as the Lewis Sullivan-inspired room that we took from a local architect and took a lot of those fundamentals and incorporated it into the flavor of the room as well. A lot of hotels in Chicago would have a small percentage of the rooms actually would be suites, but this is the whole property. The whole entire property here is suites, so we're real fortunate to have that. And obviously, when you look at the area, what are some of your favorite things to do around here? You know, obviously, when you're here in Chicago, you got to get your deep dish pizza, you got to get your Chicago style hot dog, and the whole river walk um, filled with uh, nightlife there and restaurants, things of that nature, um, which are fantastic to explore too. So it's great for leisure guests as well as business travelers, then? Yeah, you have the best of both worlds. The hotels all have a bit of a local flavor to them, don't they? What's your local flavor here in the hotel? When you first arrive into the hotel, you experience the floor to ceiling windows that overlook Michigan Avenue, as well as attributes in our guest rooms, too, uh, that make you feel like you're in that city. And a good little boardroom down the end of the uh, lobby I see, it's obviously Absolutely. quite popular. Yeah, this is one of my favorite rooms uh, in the hotel for our corporate clients that come to visit us. It's a very envious location, I'm sure a lot of other hotels have in terms of your outlook you have on this corner. Yeah, we're one of the few um, hotels in Chicago that have the boardroom right on uh, Michigan Avenue. And all our meeting space predominantly has windows too that overlook um, the, the street here too, which is fantastic. Great view from the hotel. Straight down to the lake. Well, what was the lake? Yeah. The big ice rink. So we're here with the presidential suite, and obviously it's an all-suite hotel, so everyone feels like a president when they're staying in here anyway, but this one's got a little bit more room. Yeah, absolutely. When you're in this suite, you really feel that you are the president, being here at the Omni Hotel. We are an all-suite hotel, but great lake views from up here. Yeah, it is a little bit different, isn't it? If you look at the views in Chicago that a lot of the buildings have, or the hotels have, and. No one's really kind of got a view that goes straight down Michigan Avenue. Absolutely, you know, and all our windows here too tell, help tell a story too. No matter where you're looking out, that helps uh, provide some local flavor for our guests. Obviously, having the all suite offering, obviously, if you are a business traveler coming in, you do have some way to be able to work in your room and you're not stuck on the end of the bed. Absolutely, you know, having the suite product, you have a dedicated desk in your suite there as well, as well as a separate room for great, you know, congregation of folks yeah. to, to get together as well. All right, David, so we're here in one of your uh, king rooms and um, something a little bit different in this one. This is one of your great packages you have for when kids come into the hotel. Absolutely, this is one of our local packages that we have here and it's uh, our American Girl uh, doll package, which is a lot of fun. Comes with uh, doll's own bed, um, a bathrobe and a book and uh, some other goodies too to make sure your doll is comfortable during their stay as well. Something a bit of fun, isn't it? I mean, a lot of hotels do little things for kids. Um, you do a lot for kids. Yeah, absolutely. From the moment of arrival, the doorman hands the, the child a Omni Kids backpack filled with goodies, as well as we send up as an amenity uh, milk and cookies for all the children, complimentary at the hotel too. Yeah. But this is one of our uh, um, best packages here and uh, families and uh, the children love it. People are traveling with kids quite often and hotels forget about kids so often. Absolutely, we make, it, we make sure that our guests and dolls are comfortable during their time here at the Omni Chicago Hotel. Yeah, you really want the kids to have as much fun as the adults sometimes. Absolutely, and our suites here too really uh, um, help us with the families uh, during our weekends and during the holiday season. Chicago is home to a number of great museums and galleries. Let's check out a few of our favorites now, starting right here at the Museum of Contemporary Art. Chicago's MCA is an innovative and compelling center of contemporary art where the public can experience the work and ideas of brilliant creatives. The museum boldly interweaves exhibitions, performances, collections and educational programs to excite, challenge and illuminate. Here you'll find a range of collections over several floors, including a cafe that serves up local produce and great coffee. The MCA is one of the many leading museums and galleries in the city, and others we recommend visiting are the Art Institute of Chicago, the Field Museum, and the Museum of Science and Industry. For a full list, visit ChooseChicago.com.
coming up on the next episode of Wayfarer, we're taking you to New York City. is always growing. Every year we would need to redo the photography. Cheers. Welcome to Brooklyn. What a fabulous madness it really is. Yeah. But from Brooklyn, we, we get that view every day. Right now, we're in New York City, and this is Wayfarer.